Hello everyone, you're watching Global Leaders Network, WinTV. I'm your host, Ye Seo Yoon. There are many leaders globally in areas such as government, non-profit organization, our industry, education, etc. Global Leaders Network invites these leaders and shares their wonderful stories. Today, I invited Miss Illinois from 2014, Marisa Bukhaik, how are you today? I'm doing very good. Annyeonghaseyo. Oh, thank thank you. You. <laughs> <laughs> So how have you been? I mean, after you got the crown, uh, it was a 2000, uh, 2015 or 15? 2014, and I competed okay. in Miss America 2015. Wow, how did it go? It was really good. I did not win that title, but mm. as competitions go, you know, just it was an honor to have that experience, mm -hmm. to represent Illinois. Mm -hmm. I was Miss Chicago before that, leading up to that competition. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was just a big honor to be able to represent my home. Wow, wow. <laughs> and you're also a singer, right? Yes. I'm an opera singer. Yeah, I know. But you study at the uh, DePaul University, I think. Uh, yes. Right? About a year ago, I got my master's degree at DePaul, mm -hmm. and I went to Cleveland Institute of Music for undergrad. And uh, some people are surprised that you can major in music mm -hmm. and in performance, but it's been my passion and what I've dedicated my life to. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to show us how you're going to sing today, right? Yes. Yes, okay. I will. And what, what are you going to sing later? Later, I will sing O Mio Babino Caro. It's by Puccini. By Puccini, you got it. You're a singer as well, so I think you know. Um, but it's one of the most famous soprano arias mm -hmm. in all of the repertoire. Even people who are not opera lovers already, mm -hmm. I think, will recognize it. You're a great singer. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. And I heard that also you sang at the uh, some events like uh, Asian American events for politicians. And yes. You sing normally at national anthem, right? Yes, I've uh, mm -hmm. had the opportunity to sing the national anthem at mm -hmm. a lot of different sports events, you know, for the Chicago Cubs, for the Bulls, um, also at Millennium Park for a citywide rally, and then a lot of different political events. So that's always something very fun for me. And uh, wow. I've always managed to remember the words. Mm -hmm. So that's, <laughs> I think, a big accomplishment in itself. Yeah, I think I saw you at Indonesia Fair. Remarkable, yes. you know. Uh, fair, and then you sing their national anthem in their language. The Indonesia Raya, yes. <sighs> it, it sounds so difficult. It is difficult in a mm -hmm. sense, but I think once you've studied some languages mm -hmm. and, you know, we have to work on diction mm -hmm. as singers, and uh, once you get a grasp on diction in general, it's a little bit easier to transfer that over to different languages. Mm. So um, I sing professionally in maybe 10 different languages, mm. but I know I've been adding on more languages as I reach out to different cultural events. Then how many languages do you speak? Uh, speaking, mm -hmm. I've studied German, Italian, French, Chinese, and I would say I speak a bit of all of those. I actually minored in German in college, so mm -hmm. I think that's my best language outside of English. And um, also your father is a German. He's, right? yeah, German heritage. Okay. But my mom grew up in Thailand, so of course we have family there, so I speak some Thai and Chinese as well. Wow, <laughs> you're more deal, uh, talented, you know. And also you're also a model, right? Yes, yes. This week I was just modeling at the National Bridal Market mm -hmm. of Chicago. And um, that's something that I do kind of more for fun and pageants opened that door. So. What was your dream when you were young? When I was young, mm -hmm. my dream was to become a famous pop singer. Mm -hmm. So I was a little girl, five years old, singing Spice Girl songs for my mom and for all of my family members who would listen. And um, I just loved to get up and perform and sing mm -hmm. and dance. Uh, but that was one dream. I also really loved animals growing up. So mm -hmm. part of me wanted to become a veterinarian, mm -hmm. um, but I ended up going into the arts because it's just what I truly loved the most. Mm, I see, I see. But have you ever had any difficult time and how did you overcome? Actually, in junior high, mm -hmm. I was overweight. Really? Yeah, I was very overweight, mm -hmm. maybe like 50 pounds overweight in, uh, you know, at my age. And also, I dressed in all dark clothing. I was really unhappy with myself. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, at points of in our, in our lives, we go through dark phases sometimes and um, phases of feeling unhappy and depressed. And I, I would say that was my time that I just didn't feel comfortable in my skin. Um, I remember thinking at one point that if I could be anyone else in my class, like any of the other girls, I would be much better off and much happier. And looking back, that's really sad to me. You know, it's 
tragic to just like not be uh, happy with who you are. Right. And I think you know a couple of things got me out of that, mm -hmm. and one of them um, I'm thankful for music mm -hmm. because it allowed me to. Uh, feel happiness that I was otherwise lacking mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. And also, I went vegan. Mm -hmm. So I follow a strict vegetarian lifestyle. I have now for 17 years. And um, I ended up losing a lot of weight when I went vegan. And I did that because I loved animals. But then mm -hmm. also, uh, one of the benefits I realized was that I felt a lot healthier and lighter. Mm -hmm. I started running and working out. Mm -hmm. um, both of my parents had done marathons in the past. So that ended up being one of my goals. And mm -hmm. uh, I ended up running Chicago mm -hmm. Marathon in uh, 2012 and 13. Mm -hmm. So you know, it just all kind of went hand in hand. Mm -hmm. As soon as I turned on the switch mm -hmm. of pursuing my passion and something I loved, and then also treating my body and myself better, mm -hmm. I ended up becoming this much happier and more um, you know, inspired person. Mm -hmm. And it is the person that I am today. Mm -hmm. You're inspiring. Truly. Thank you. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, what church do you go to currently? So it's a Lutheran church. Mm -hmm. It's called oh. Concordia Lutheran Church in the city. And um, I've been singing there for three, almost four years now, and they brought me on as the music director last January. So I work with a pianist, organist, and we program the music and uh, lead the choir and all of the different instrumentalists who come in for the big holidays. So yeah, it's, it's challenging in a sense, but I enjoy um, that side of things too. How many congregations? The congregation's not very large. Mm -hmm. It's um, usually around 50 people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's kind of a more small, intimate setting, but I know that the music has tra changed mm -hmm. dramatically since um, my colleague and I have come on board. Mm -hmm. And we're starting a concert series there too. We just got a grant um, mm -hmm. from a foundation in Chicago to um, start this concert series. So I'm excited to bring even more, you know, just very mm -hmm. high level artists into our church community. Mm -hmm. You're busy. So busy, yeah. But you know, one mm -hmm. thing that I've aspired to is mm -hmm. to not, you know, have a traditional conventional type of mm -hmm. occupation. Mm -hmm. I love what I do. It's very involved in the music realm, mm -hmm. um, in some cases in the realm of beauty and fashion since, mm -hmm. you know, my pageant mm -hmm. background. Um, I have a lot of projects, but mm -hmm. all in all, it works out very nicely. Mm -hmm. What do you want to achieve in the future? Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure as a fellow ambitious woman, there are a lot of things that I would like to do. Mm -hmm. I, of course, would love to continue my career as a professional singer. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a concert coming up in Las Vegas that's more of like a popera, oh, pop, oh, opera oh, I know that. Uh -huh. It's like the opera hits. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing that, and mm -hmm. uh, it's with a group called Quattro, which mm -hmm. is for opera singers. Mm -hmm. And I also have a soprano trio called Trey Bell. Mm -hmm. So my dream is to take some of these shows on the road and uh, be able to tour and perform all over the world, mm -hmm. um, as I have in some capacity, but mm -hmm. on a bigger scale. Like I would love to sing with Andrea Bocelli or mm -hmm. um, have you know some of these opportunities to, I, I, witnessed a, a live opera in the amphitheater in Verona, which is a fully acoustic outdoor venue that has the capacity for 30,000 people. And it was just so beautiful. I was so moved. Mm -hmm. um, I saw Rigoletto there, mm -hmm. a really beautiful opera by Verdi. Mm -hmm. And um, I would just love to keep spreading um, mm -hmm. the joy and peace that music brings mm -hmm. throughout the world as much as I can. Mm -hmm. You're a songbird. <laughs> Maybe a world figure in the future. <laughs> we will see. We will see. I'm sure you can make it. <laughs> and uh, what is the challenges that women generally facing today nowadays? You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I think as women, mm -hmm. there are some of the challenges that we have faced for centuries. You know, mm -hmm. I think we've gone so far. Uh, we have come so far to break the glass ceiling and to make ourselves equal to men, but mm -hmm. I think in a lot of ways there are still some imbalances there. Mm -hmm. And um, I think as much as possible we need to keep on breaking that mold. And I think that women like us are doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not, I'm sorry, we're not going to become somebody's housewife or mm -hmm. become somebody's, um, you know, I guess, suppressed figure. We are people who are powerful mm -hmm. and aspire to great things in our lives. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, we just need to keep pushing in that direction. And mm -hmm. the world is changing 100%. You know, I think there is still a, a pay gap mm -hmm. when it comes to what male CEOs make mm -hmm. versus female CEOs. Mm -hmm. But we're seeing more and more these days that that is changing. 
Yeah, someday female president for the United States too, you know? Uh, you know, maybe this upcoming, maybe mm -hmm. 2020. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Right, yeah. right. Uh, what's your vision and then what do you want to achieve? So my vision for, for, uh, for your church and also your, you say you have art industry, art, art project. Yes. So for that, what do you want to achieve, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. It actually all ties in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think when we're younger and mm -hmm. building ourselves up, uh, you know, young entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. uh, we're a little bit trying to hone in right. all of the different areas that we're interested in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes it feels like we're all over the place because we're doing a project here, you know, a performance series here. Mm -hmm. um, and I think one of the challenges that I have faced is just finding a way to channel mm -hmm. all of my different energy and enthusiasm into one, um, you know, narrow path. Mm -hmm. And of course, performing is my passion. I want to keep going in that direction, but also as a music director, mm -hmm. I play the role of almost like an agent. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy that too. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a different kind of challenge, but I think you have to be able to connect with a lot of different artists mm -hmm. and a lot of different individuals and then still wear like the managerial hat and bring them all together and organize all of the different pieces of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. And I could definitely see myself in the future mm -hmm. being more of that figure, mm -hmm. um, the person that kind of like wrangles all mm -hmm. of the all of the different people together. Mm -hmm. And that is um, what I'm doing with my church as mm -hmm. well. And I'd like to keep going in that direction mm -hmm. and build our concert series mm -hmm. up and just see what the possibilities are. Mm -hmm. I want to attend uh, your church service. Well, I'd love to invite somewhere. you. Yeah, 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 our regular season starts up September 15th. Yeah. So um, I'll definitely give you that information. Mm -hmm. And what is your success to you and what brings you happiness? Well, it's funny because the way you asked that question is pretty much my definition mm -hmm. for success. And I think it's different for mm -hmm. every individual, but mm -hmm. to me, it's not how much money you make, mm -hmm. it's not how much power or mm -hmm. influence you have, mm -hmm. um, because you can be the most wealthy person mm -hmm. in the world and still not have happiness mm -hmm. in the end. So to me, success is basically being happy in what mm -hmm. you're doing mm -hmm. and finding whatever it is that brings you an inner peace and um, mm -hmm. makes you feel like you've made it mm -hmm. in your own specific way. Right. Um, and I think, you know, it's funny, I think that rings true in relationships. Mm -hmm. um, it ties into how we interact and deal with our families because, mm -hmm. um, you know, also as women, we a lot of times have a goal of having a family. Mm -hmm and also having a career, mm -hmm. and then also you know, making something great of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And it can be very tricky mm -hmm. to have all of those things right. and mm -hmm. still feel like you're succeeding in life. Mm -hmm. So one great piece of advice I heard mm -hmm. at one point from some women that I really mm -hmm. admire is that you can have everything in your life mm -hmm. that you want, mm -hmm. but not all at the same time. And I think that we just need to pace ourselves mm -hmm. and find a way to get the things mm -hmm. that we want in life in the time that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, timing is everything, mm -hmm. and I'm a big believer in that, and mm -hmm. I think that we have to just be at peace with those things in order to find our own success. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, and do you have any comments to our audiences, and uh, you wanna you know, speak something to them, you know? Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just more mm -hmm. on what I was just saying, you know, and this is something mm -hmm. that when I was Miss Illinois, mm -hmm. I would have to go and uh, visit a lot of high schools and mm -hmm. speak on different platform topics. Mm -hmm. But, you know, my passion was always arts education. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm always going to be pushing for arts being a prominent part of a child's education, because mm -hmm. I feel like that is what makes someone a well-rounded individual and capable of um, tackling big goals in the future. But also, like I said, just finding your own definition mm -hmm. of success. Mm -hmm. And whatever that may be, it doesn't have to be uh, becoming the most wealthy person or becoming um, someone who marries someone famous or finds, mm -hmm. um, you know, discovers the next great scientific discovery. It's just 
what mm. makes you feel whole and makes you feel complete. And mm -hmm. that's what I'm on a mission to do. Um, and I hope that you can find that for yourself as well. Thank you for coming to our stage, even though you're so busy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad we were able to find this time. OK. So you're going to sing this time, right? I am. Oh, Mio Babi no Caro? Yes. So let's hear your singing and thank you once again. Sure. Thank you so much <laughs> for having me. So. Thank you for watching Global Leaders Network Win TV. If you want to watch this again, you can visit our website and YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe us. I want to see all of you next Thursday, 9 p.m. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs>